Inflation stayed at 2.3% in October, unchanged from the previous month, as higher food prices traced to two typhoons were tempered by steady readings for non-food items. The result, up from 0.4% a year earlier, fell within the Banco Central's 1.9 to 2.7% forecast for the month. PSP Governor Amado Tetanko said the turnout is in line with their view that inflation will be manageable over the policy horizon, indicating that policy rates will likely stay unchanged during this Thursday's Monetary Board meeting. The October figure put year-to-date inflation at 1.6 percent, below the government's 2 to 4 percent target range. Economists say that while upside risks remain, price shocks are unlikely for the remaining two months of the year. The uh, increase from uh, August to September was due mainly to increase on food prices arising mainly from natural disasters uh, and bad weather. But as the economy uh, moves on and we enter the uh, months of November and December where we expect the weather to improve, I guess we don't expect any more surprises from food prices. They add that an uptick due to increased consumer spending would also be good for the economy. The 2.3 is a combination of healthy uh, confidence of consumers. So at the same time, uh, tame increases in prices of uh, goods and services. So even if it's hit pa siya ng 2.5, I don't see any problem. In fact, that's the dream of other countries. Okay. The dream of other countries is for inflation to kick in. Rest of the outlook include higher oil prices, a continued peso fall, pending petitions for power rate hikes, and more weather disturbances. But economists are discounting a year-end spike. But there are also some moderating factors on inflation because, let's face it, uh, the share of oil, of imported oil and petroleum products has really gone down, particularly in the uh, power sector. Mm -hmm. So that has gone down. And so while we are seeing a very big increase in uh, oil prices, particularly in the pump prices of gasoline, uh, it might not be that strong to cause a big spike in the inflation. Ahead of their meeting this week, Tatanko says monetary authorities will continue to monitor pending petitions for hikes in utility rates here, as well as global economic activity. The National Economic and Development Authority is also optimistic that prices will remain steady, noting that supply conditions, particularly for food, will improve amid robust domestic demand. Bev Natividad, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.